Yo, what's going on y'all? This is your boy Haba, Nick or no Haba, and I'm bringing you a brand new video here today. And before we get into that, thank you so much for all the love. I love y'all. Y'all my best friends up in this bitch. And uh, yeah, that's really all I gotta say. Uh, go follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Leave a like if you enjoy the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you want to see from me in the future. And uh, let's get straight into this one. All right, so I've got to be honest. I already have a melody started here and uh, I really liked how it was going. So I thought I got to film a video. Um, why not start here? Cause I could definitely hear like Lil Baby on this and uh, maybe Dirk. So I'm gonna let you guys hear the melody that I have started so far. And then I'll kind of explain it uh, after that. All right, so you guys hear it. It's uh, not super complex, but it sounds really good in my opinion. And uh, that's what matters. As long as you like the music you're making, no one can take anything from you. I'll just break it down. So it started with just these chords. Um, well, I guess all these. Uh, but this is just like if I took this and I threw it down an octave, this is just a triad. And I just took my middle notes from it and threw it up an octave. And it's just the same chord over and over, just every other one, I pitched it down uh, one semitone. And that uh, is a really good way to like make it a darker type melody. And uh, yeah, so that's that. And if I were to get rid of the melody here and then play it, it sounds like this. You guys get it? Um, and then I added bass notes here and if i got rid of the melody here with the bass notes the whole thing sounds like this it's uh very common in like a little baby uh darker melody to have the bass notes go down uh that amount of steps uh, and then the top melody here uh what i did was i literally took my root note of f sharp and I threw it up, so let's say it was up here. And I turned my magnet to one third beat and I just made random cuts. Like I decided to cut there, 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 and leave that. And then I just literally took those cuts and moved them to different notes. And that's how I ended up with that. So what I did there was I found a bounce that I liked on the triplet. So it's like a triplet style melody. And then I just arranged it to different notes. And I liked using this because uh, when you have two sets of notes like that in, uh, in a scale, and if you only use those, uh, it can help with like a dark style melody. And then on the second half, all I did was I swapped it up a little bit just to uh, just to diversify the melody a little bit and keep it fresh. Uh, but now that you guys are all the way informed on the melody, I'm gonna keep going with it and kind of explain what I'm doing along the way. So I'm gonna add these notes here just as kind of like support notes. Um, I like how they're sounding, uh, but yeah. Yeah, so I'm happy with this piano melody, so I'm gonna press Alt-R to randomize my velocities. And uh, then I'm gonna press Control-A to select everything and hold Alt on my keyboard and scroll down a little bit. And now that'll all sound like this. This makes it sound a bit more realistic. And then I'm gonna highlight all these and press Alt-S and that's gonna strumize them. And uh, yeah. So there's our piano melody. Uh, for these style melodies, I, I like to add strings. So I'm gonna do that in the... Uh, lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock. So I'm gonna open up Flex, and uh, I don't know how recent it was, but I found a lot more packs on here of their uh, free packs. If you just come to this tab and download them. And I downloaded the essential strings and I was looking through it earlier, I think. Maybe it wasn't the strings. Oh, this is what I want. I think I want these horns. Uh, I'm just gonna try it out. If I don't like it, I don't like it. Okay, so I'm not liking that. So uh, we're gonna switch up the game plan. 
So I got this all string slow preset out of flex, out of the essential strings. I really like how it sounds. And all I did was I copied over my root notes and I'm gonna press Alt-R to randomize the velocities a bit. But I really like how this is sounding. Um, so I'm gonna just keep adding other elements to this melody until I feel like it's done. So I'm gonna add this ARP out of the Roy Major Neptune bank called Flux. And uh, just following my root notes again. I like the texture it brings. So I'm gonna add this, uh, this voice angels out of the soft pads of Expand. And uh, I really like it. So I'm gonna mix out these melodic sounds and uh, I think we're good on melody for now. Um, if I feel like I need to add something later, I will. All right, so I've got this melody mixed out. Uh, I'm gonna show you what I did one by one here. So for the piano, I added a wider and moved it up to 107%. This is a free plugin, highly recommended it. Then I added a Valhalla Vintage Verb, just swapped the color to now and turned up the low cut a bit. And then I adjusted this knob here um, and turned it down to 18%. For the strings, I EQ'd out a bit of it. And then I added uh, Murder Melodies and I added the Deep Wave preset. And I just like how it sounds. And then for the ARP, I didn't do anything. It's a uh, ride natural. And then for the pad, I EQ'd out a lot of it, added some Valhalla Vintage Verb, turned it down to roughly 50%, and added a Fruity Love filter and dragged this little thing over here. So I like the effect it gives. And all together, it sounds like this. So now that, uh, that we got our melody, I'm going to start on drums. For the drums, I'm going to be using my boy Luca did this is a stash kit he just released totally free. Go hit him up at Luca did this on Instagram, Twitter, uh, all socials. And also go check out his YouTube. He does tutorials, super fire, uh, like gonna guitar tutorials and uh, all sorts of different stuff. He makes some fucking crazy melodies, super sick beats, uh, go check them out. Super informative as well. So I'm gonna grab a clap, the recycled clap. We've all heard it, we've all used it, and it just sounds so good still. So now I'm gonna grab a hi-hat, grab the Rex hi-hat. Now I'm gonna grab the uh, out of here 808, boost in a little bit. And if you want your 808s to be in key or in tune, as you all should, just follow your root notes. Um, I promise it'll, uh, it'll be in tune. So I got this for an 808 pattern and, uh, really like it. So now that I got all these drums, sorry I haven't been talking much, uh, I'm gonna do some hi-hat rolls. All right, so I got all my drums done. I'm just gonna mix them out really quick. All right, I got them all mixed out. I'm just gonna split this pattern up, lay this guy out. So uh, I'm gonna explain while I lay it out because I, I don't do that ever. I just usually explain after. Um, so for the beginning, I'm going to kind of set the tone with just the piano. Then it's going to come into the hook. And for that, I think we'll bring in the strings. No, we'll wait on the strings. We'll bring in the pad and all our drum sounds. One thing I'm going to do for the 
I'm gonna get rid of the snares on the first eight of the verse and the open hat on the second eight. And then for the final eight of the verse as well, I'm gonna come in here and mess with the melody and I'm gonna make it just the chords. So that'll sound like this now. Make a little cut here to the hi-hat. Oh, whoops, I accidentally deleted my clap there. Uh, I was wondering why that sounded so weird. I really like how that sounds. I'm gonna do that for the entire verse. Yeah. And then for the bridge, uh, we're gonna get rid of everything except that we're gonna bring in the original piano melody again. And uh, just solo. And then for the second eight, we'll bring in almost everything. Or the second four, I mean. Everything except the 808. And then it's going to drop back into the hook. Duplicate it over twice. Delete the end. And then I like to just grab a part of it. Just so this can be kind of the outro. And uh, I'm just going to make sure my 808 is on cut self. Yep, it is. Uh, now I just got to add my tag. did my tag a little bit let me know what y'all think of it but yeah guys uh oh actually i'm gonna add one last thing to this i'm gonna grab not that hey nope not that the uh nope not that damn <laughs> the cody sound effects this is uh my go-to riser um and yeah i'm just gonna throw this at the beginning and then after or at the beginning of each hook to transition into the hook but yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys uh thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please leave a like comment down below let me know what you enjoyed let me know what you didn't enjoy and um i'm gonna let the beat play out after i do this but this is your boy nick haba or nahaba and i'm out peace